subscribe. New chapter for clues, a Yarnaby plush, Halloween costumes, and finally a new chapter for a master. We have a bunch of stuff to go over. So of course, starting with the small things, Mob Entertainment has collaborated with a little small company called Disguise to bring us some cool Huggy Wuggy costumes. Two of them, one just a mask and one a full costume. This is pretty cool, but I really wish they had a catnap one because, you know, that would be pretty easy to pull off, but I may be wrong. Hopefully they release some more costumes in the future because as you know, we have too much knockoffs. Now I just covered this piece of news before, but since this video should come out the day before Halloween, I just want to say that the Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 is planned to get a new remaster, making the game look way better, and also improving stuff inside the game, including adding some new secrets. Maybe we can get some new info on Yarnaby, but who really knows? But speaking about Yarnaby in the description of the Chapter 4 trailer, they put a link leading to a site where you could enter your email to be notified for a new Yarnaby plush. I'm really excited to have this cute little fella sit on my desk and watch my every move because, you know, that previous catnap plush was really fun to receive. It also features some Yarnaby merch that shows his full body, which is pretty cool. And also, finally, the developers confirmed uh, that Yarnaby is in fact a lion. Now for the big juicy news, recently Sheep Rampage has been working hard to put together pieces found in the picture below, and he pretty much succeeded at putting some of them together. We have a couple of papers revealing some pretty huge things for chapter 4. One of them is a letter sent from Elliot Ludwig, which is pretty hard to make out, but it talks about how Elliot wants Lawyer to come to the factory for an unknown project. Now, there's not much in this letter, but it does confirm that Sawyer was in the Geniuses program, and that there's also a date, 1990. This was before the Hour of Joy, so we can't think much of it, but I may be wrong. The next paper is an experiment 1026 report, which is dangerously close to the prototype's number. Anyways, the paper is about how this experiment was only alive for a good 45 minutes, and that only three of those minutes were actually being awake. When it did become awake, it looked around and started to become startled. It also stared across the room at the others spectating him or her. We don't really know much about what this experiment looks like, but apparently it didn't talk. Maybe it will be a new character in Chapter 4, but who really knows? Finally, the last paper is an incident report reading about some sort of incident where this guy was taking a kid to the game station to test him, but then something horrible happened. We're not sure what happened, or even if it was in the game station, because almost everything is covered in black ink or torn. But with the little scrapes we have, we can kind of make it out. A note the guy puts at the end explains how he doesn't want to affect the rest of his career. And he also tells Playtime Co. to tell everyone it wasn't his fault, which kind of shows this event is a pretty big deal, and that it is important to the lore. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And boy...